Let's talk about the NASCAR Xfinity Series Silly Season. Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. The NASCAR Xfinity Series finally gets back into action this weekend at Michigan. Everybody was just standing around depressed like Kendall Roy in succession, just looking out the Hudson like, are they ever going to return? Is life ever going to get better? It is. The Xfinity Series is back this weekend, one of NASCAR's most exciting series, and there's a lot of announcements coming this weekend um, at Michigan. Well, at least one big one coming from the Haas factory team who will announce their 2025 NASCAR Xfinity Series drivers lineup. So on the topic of silly season, now that NASCAR Cup Series silly season has slowed down really like what the seven cars pretty much the last one open there. There's a couple other things that could be in play here. RFK, of course, you know, they're landing the Kroger sponsorship, according to Adam Stern, which has sparked up some more uh, rumors that maybe they're going to go to a third car. I'm not necessarily sure about that. I'll probably have a video about that uh, on Saturday as well to get into a little bit more of the details there. But for the Xfinity series, a lot of things are happening. We're going to start off with we're going to start off with Junior Motorsports. They are bringing back two drivers from 2024 into 2025. Plus, they've already signed another driver. We know that Justin Allgaier in that number seven car will return next season. We know that Sammy Smith in that eight car will return as well. Will he stay in the eight? Will he move to the one, the nine? That remains to be seen. I would like to see him go to the one, resurrect Michael Annette, win at Daytona, just really do the whole thing this time around. And then, of course, they signed Connor Zilich to drive that number 88 car on loan from Trackhouse. It is expected that Sam Mayer will depart the team at the end of the season, likely staying in the Xfinity Series from what I heard, and that Brandon Jones could be exiting junior motorsports as well. So they have three drivers right now, full time uh, confirmed for 2025. Who could that fourth one possibly be? Now, obviously, they have Carson Quaffle running a partial schedule over this year, and he's performed really well. Should have won at Dover, got a second place finish there, has another top five, just had a top 10 at his last race out at Indianapolis. He's going to a lot of these tracks for the first time, and he's performing really well. He, of course, does not bring funding. He's a lot like Josh Berry. They will have to go out and try to find some funding for him, but I believe that JRM, believes in him and they might just go do that on door bumper clear this week they mentioned that Corey LaJoy they had heard had had talks with junior motorsports I don't think that he's going there I think that he is headed back down to the truck series to replace a guy that's moving up to the Xfinity series which we'll talk about in just a second so junior motorsports has three drivers confirmed who is their fourth driver going to be or are they gonna have five cars who who knows at this point? Moving on within the Chevy camp to Colleg Racing. Uh, the last time I heard the Colleg lineup, it sounded like a pretty strong lineup. Has it changed since then? I don't think so. But what I have heard is Josh Williams will be back in the number 11 car next year. He has a multi-year deal. Who replaces AJ Allmendinger, who is moving up to the NASCAR Cup Series? Uh, Christian Eck is, appears to be that guy. They mentioned on Door Bumper Clear this week. I've been hearing that for a little over a month now at this point, that Eck is, would be uh, moving up with Colleg to the Xfinity Series. His ride down on the truck series has been rumored to be Corey LaJoy headed over there. If that's where Corey's headed, that's a great spot for him to land. For Eck is, I think that Colleg is a great landing spot for him in the Xfinity series as well. He does not bring a lot of funding along with him, but he is a guy that Colleg could absolutely build their future around if he stays in-house with them. Who would be the driver of the third car? Well, I know who that is, and that driver will be... But I do think that driver is very driven and can absolutely get them results. Speaking of driven, this video is brought to you by Driven Sunglasses. Head over to Driven Sunglasses right now. Check it out. I really enjoy wearing the Camber sunglasses. That is this pair right here. I'm also pretty partial to the Classic as well. Those are two, the two pairs that I have in my daily rotation for walking the dog or doing whatever else I do in life. So head over to DrivenSunglasses.com today. Use code BREAKHARD for 20% off plus free shipping. All right. Moving back into the Xfinity series, let's move over to the Ford camp and the Haas factory team who will have an announcement on Saturday morning about who their driver lineup will be in 2025. One of those drivers is expected to be Sheldon Creed, who will depart Joe Gibbs Racing after one year and move over to the Haas factory team. Who will that second driver be? That's where things get a little bit interesting at. I have heard Sam Mayer is in play over there. Uh, they, of course, confirmed that they had talks with Haley Deegan. Um, could Ryan Priest be in play? Is Harrison Burton also an option for them with his Dex imaging money? Everybody seems to have a different answer over there. I'm not sure who it is, and I think it might be a surprise, unless, of course, it leaks before Saturday morning. But I do think that is going to be a very stout Xfinity program for next season. And then moving on to Joe Gibbs Racing, one of the most interesting ones, one of the teams that could actually just have a completely new driver lineup potentially for next year. 
like I said, Sheldon Creed expected to depart. Chandler Smith, his does not sound like he is coming back to Joe Gibbs Racing next year, which is confusing because he was so desperate to get out of his deal at Cog, which was a multi-year deal, to go over to Joe Gibbs Racing to get back into the TRD family because he believed that was the best path for him to get to the Cup Series, and now it sounds like he might be done there after one year. His name has floated around the Front Row Motorsports Cup ride uh, in the last few days. Don't think it's going to him. I think it's going to another Smith. But for Chandler... I'm not sure where he ends up at yet. I haven't quite reached out to figure that one out. But the Joe Gibbs racing lineup does appear that it will be William Sawalich in one of those cars. His family paid for two years in ARCA plus an Xfinity Series season. 2025 will be that Xfinity Series season. I'm not as high on him as a prospect as others are, which is fine, right? I just haven't seen a lot out of him. In the ARCA Series, he looks great, but he's in Joe Gibbs Racing equipment. He should look great. In the races that Connor Zilich has competed against him, he's 0 for 3, and Zilich is 3 and 0 against him. So I think that he has some development to go along, and I think maybe his equipment is masking some of his deficiencies as a driver, plus the low level of competition as well. Another driver that is expected to join Joe Gibbs Racing is Taylor Gray, moving from the Truck Series and Tricon up to the Xfinity Series. He has driven in eight races with the team this year. He has a third place finish in his first ever start. He has another top five as well at Pocono. Uh, and in between, he's had some okay runs. But I think that this might actually be a good move for him because it's a lot like what I think about with Harrison Burton. He wasn't very good in the truck series. He was okay, but never won a race. He moves up to the Xfinity series. That car fits him a lot better. He ends up winning four races in one season. I think Taylor Gray could fit into that mold a little bit. Who else could end up over there? Well, Brandon Jones, his name continues to be linked to going back to Joe Gibbs Racing. He has, of course, done five seasons with the team before he departed for Junior Motorsports. He has five wins with the team. His career kind of feels like Elliot Sadler at this point. It was RCR, then JGR, then JRM. He's just kind of hitting all the big teams in the Xfinity Series at this point. And... Uh, is it going to work out for him? I'm not sure, but it definitely seemed like he had uh, maybe was a little bit more comfortable, had better success over at Gibbs. Now, who could be in the fourth car? I think that might end up being the rotating seat. Once again, they have two uh, seats this year that have been rotating. I think it will be a combination of Martin Truex Jr., Ryan Truex, not a junior, um, John Hunter Nemechek, maybe Eric Amarola. Is he coming back for another year, assuming he doesn't get in any more fights? So I think that might be the Gibbs lineup for next season and then once all those big seats at the bigger teams kind of get filled up then some of the smaller seats and maybe the second tier seats will start to fill up as well and we'll have more about that and then that all all kind of trickle down into the truck series as well so let me know what do you think about where some people might end up where do you think they're going to end up like and subscribe to the channel follow me on tiktok at break hard instagram twitter and facebook at break hard blog